So there are a number of different factors. Um, in some patients it will be seasonal allergens such as pollens or mold spores. In other patients it will be perennial allergens such as dust mite and animal danders. But patients with allergic rhinitis will also have a degree of irritability within the nose such that uh, non-specific irritants like cigarette smoke, strong perfumes or traffic fumes may also provoke symptoms. Allergic rhinitis is mainly diagnosed first on history taking, so symptoms, uh, uh, itchy nose, sneezing, nasal obstruction, um, so that's, that's the main symptoms. Uh, and of course, when the symptoms occur, do they occur during the night uh, or do they, for example, occur in the season, May, June, July? Uh, based on that history, we can already know a lot. Um, also, I can see on a patient's face whether it's someone who has difficulties of breathing to the nose. So only when the patient arrives in my consultation room, I can already see something. So that's clinical art and, and that's how we do it. Of course, you have to uh, then confirm your uh, feelings uh, because that's not an objective way of diagnosis. Then you have to do a skin prick test, that's how we do it, or draw blood and uh, specify um, specific IgEs in the blood of the patient.